Welcome to my tutorial, which will guide you through all the needed practice and theory that will help you pass the new Microsoft MS-100 Managing Office or Microsoft 365 Identities and Requirements. My name is Nedin Sadovic. I work for Logosoft as a Senior System Engineer. Also, I teach as a Microsoft Certified Trainer or MCT for an official training provider. I will try to focus more on more practical examples, but we also need a little bit of theory. There are 10 sections. Let's start with the sections. Creating the tenant. At first, we are going to create the tenant because everything should start fresh. Configuring your Microsoft 365 tenant. After we saw how to create a tenant, let's embark on a few options that Microsoft 365 tenant provides and configure them. Configuring Office 365 Pro Plus. Now we have the tenant and we did the first configurations. Let's do the Office 365 Pro Plus because every office needs its office tools. Office 365 with Group Policy object and telemetry with User Security. Group Policy is the cornerstone of every enterprise environment. We are going to configure and establish a connection between GPO and Office 365. We are also going to test it with telemetry and touch the user security within the deployment option. The tenant administration. We also have to deal with advanced tenant administration and how to solve it in the best way possible. Subscriptions and rights management. Subscriptions and rights management provides a better picture of what we have to buy in order to provide a better experience for the user. Monitoring and service health. Monitoring and service health provides us with insights of how our environment works and where are the problems if there are any. Managing Microsoft 365 environment using Windows PowerShell. In a modern world, we cannot pass the PowerShell. So, in this section, we are going to see how to use PowerShell to administer Microsoft 365 on the cloud from the on-premises systems. Setting up for identity synchronization. Before the end, we need to set up our environment to move to the cloud or Office 365. And for that, we need to install identity synchronization, which will help us with the logins and files that we need to synchronize. Implementing identity synchronization. At the end, the implementation of identity synchronization needs to be done successfully in order for the whole environment to work correctly. The prerequisites for this course are not that much. So there is a basic knowledge of Windows Server technologies, a basic knowledge of Active Directory, a basic knowledge of PowerShell, and the installation of Windows Server 2019. It does not need to be Windows 2019, it can also be Windows 2012 or 2016. And configure the main and Active Directory on that server that you have installed. So, let's get started! 